Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Nadia and I do foundation. I do foundation and stuff. Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Nadia and I do makeup and stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation Stick. So I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do a review on it because I didn't know if there was anybody that wanted to see it. So I did a poll. Why is my dog barking? As I was saying, I did a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys wanted to see it and everybody kind of said yes, so I was like, alright, let's do it. And the reason why I wasn't sure is because I've never seen anybody use this foundation stick. I haven't seen anybody try it or rave about it or nothing. So I had no expectations going into this. But as I've said before, I really do enjoy foundation reviews because I feel like foundation is like the basis of what everything works on top of. So getting a really good one is nice and using me as a point of reference is like a resource before you spend your coin. So I do have a playlist, I'll link it in the cards somewhere in one of these corners of all the foundations that I have reviewed before. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and let's get started. So let's get started. I actually haven't touched it since I got it and I swatched it once and I saw the shade was questionable. But anyway, um, I do my eye makeup and stuff off camera just because the focus is on the foundation. So yeah. So let's start off talking about packaging. So it says L'Oreal Infallible um, Long Wear Shaping Stick. It's a normal roll up component. You get 9 grams of product. Um, it ranges, the price range ranges from 130 to 150 depending on where you buy it. So it's available at Disc Game Clicks, Fushini, um, Superbalist, Zando and Take A Lot. I bought mine online so I used a website to try and find my shade and the shade is um, very questionable but there is only 9 shades in the range so yeah yeah that's another thing when i was trying to do my research for making this video i saw that in america there is only 12 shades so i thought maybe it was like only a few launched in south africa but in total there's only 12 shades so i don't know the packaging there are no claims it just says l'oreal paris infallible long wear shaping stick over here and then it says it in different languages around on the lid it has the shade name which mine is 210 cappuccino so i didn't know what were the claims for the foundation stick so i went onto the website and on the website it says cover define and enhance your features with the new infallible shaping stick from l'oreal paris achieve a perfectly sculpted look with foldable medium to full coverage that lasts up to 24 hours the creamy glide on formula of infallible shaping stick melts into your skin and provides a weightless long lasting coverage that doesn't Cake or drag. Okay, so that's it for the claims. That's what it says. So now it's to put it on. Let me prime my face first. I'll just start off with. Oh, this is not my shade. Please do not judge. Oh, this is such an orange color. Okay. So it is very creamy and it glides on extremely easy. I'm gonna use a brush. Oh, the shade is not my shade. Generally when I do my foundation reviews or I say like, oh, this is not my shade. And then I edit my video and I'm like, on camera it doesn't look that bad. Yeah, this, this is bad. This is very orange. Wow. Let's blend it out. Okay, so this is one layer. Um, it's looking quite nice. It's quite easy to blend out, but I do want more coverage because I can see like my marks and stuff. 
So I'm going to just try and build it up just a little bit. Oh, my nose is itching. Why whenever I do my whenever I do my makeup, my nose itches? Am I the only one? Does your nose also itch? Like And this is building it up. This is what it looks like. I actually don't know. I don't know what's the finish of this meant to be. Let me just try and hold on. Let me just go and try and research and see. So no way on the L'Oreal Paris um, website does it say what finish it is. This is very like more of a natural finish. If not, oh, I look so orange. <laughs> it's bothering me. Like everything else looks so nice, but it looks so orange. Anyway, I'm gonna power through for the purpose of this video. Um, on the Clicks website, it's said to be a matte finish. This is definitely not a matte finish. But yeah, it's easy to blend out. Let me just put on some concealer. So I'm using the, the infallible... Um, more than concealer I always try and use a concealer of the same brand especially with the um, reviews because products of the same brand are meant to ideally work together like work well together hopefully this concealer can save this shade enough just for the video because i'm not gonna go out looking like this but just enough for the video so this is it for the concealer the concealer did save it quite a bit but I'm gonna go off camera and do my makeup, complete my makeup, use products that I always use that I know work and I love them. So if, as I always say, if something's funky, it is the foundation and it's not my other products because they always work. Um, and hopefully I don't look that much like a Oompa Loompa when I come back. Okay, so I'm back. I went with this brownie, orangey, toned makeup look to try and complement the fact that i look orange um yes the concealer did save it quite some bit but wow i look orange but anyway moving on to the product in all honesty i bought the foundation mainly because it was affordable on black friday not because i saw any hype around the product because i saw anybody else use it nothing of that sort so when i actually started using the foundation i didn't have any real expectations but now that i have tried it do i actually like it um yes and no but like not no kind of let me explain so as a foundation stick it is it's so easy to blend it is creamy it does this thing that once you apply it on your face it like like you, I think it used, like with the warmth of your skin, it just melts into your skin and it's really easy to blend. It kind of has a dewy slash natural finish. It's definitely not a matte finish. I would not recommend this if you have oily skin. The reason for that is because the finish is just so dewy. I, if you watch any of my videos, you know, I don't set my whole face, I generally set under my eyes, my around my mouth and like sometimes my forehead. With this I had to set my whole face, like all here, which I really do. I set, uh, I set, I set it, what, what's the past tense of set? Oh set, I set it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I set like my whole face. Um, and even then I had to like make sure I went in and like that the powders were like soaked up so that it is matte. I don't think it'll last 24 hours, especially on um, oily skin. I feel like it'll break apart quite easily. 
even kind of on combination skin i think for dry skin you might be able to get away with this foundation stick but yeah why i do like it and why i would repurchase it even though i've said what i've said i would repurchase this as a contouring stick so i would get a darker shade something that's maybe not so orange a darker brown and i would use it as a contouring stick um and i think it'll be beautiful as a contouring stick because uh, as i said it blends out so easily and all of that like it's pigmented it does everything but as a contour stick now also what i realized is the fact that I don't know how to say this i think the marketing people at l'oreal did it on purpose because even if you heard like the verbiage they were using to describe the foundation it was like a multi-use foundation stick a sculpting stick so they kind of what's the word i'm looking for why am like all the english words are out of my head today um What's the word? What is the word? But like basically taking advantage of the fact that it's like a multi-use sculpting stick. So they're not wrong in their claims. If you're using it as a foundation stick, I think it's more than likely that you're not gonna find your shade. And if you do, you're lucky. I think that if you're using it as a sculpting stick, you're more than likely gonna find your shade because it's not that like it doesn't have to be like that much of an exact shade something in a range for contouring and all of that will kind of work okay so that's it for today's video all in all i do like the foundation stick however i like it as a sculpting stick um i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it please make sure to give it a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video